You may soon be able to put your car on autopilot of sorts thanks to a Cache Valley company that's teamed up with Ford. Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson got an up-close look and a ride inside Utah's own driverless car. In the quiet, very rural town of Peersboro, a cutting-edge technology is being carefully refined. Okay, that should be all right. You might say Autonomous Solutions Incorporated is developing the answer to distracted driving. Oh, they're amazing. By taking the wheel out of your hands. It's exciting that the technology is maturing and coming down in cost so that it is practical to be in automotive. CEO and co-founder Mel Torrey at times seems like a kid in his workshop. It's the most exciting thing you can imagine to be working on, in my opinion. <laughs> As his company is constantly developing automated technologies like this bomb inspecting robot that uses a Xbox Connect video game sensor to see and pick up objects without the help of a human or remote control. On there are some electrical and mechanical actuators. That's the same concept by behind components inside this Ford Fusion. That's what actually presses on uh, the brake, the transmission, uh, acceleration for the vehicle. The robotics are all out in the open now so they can easily be adjusted. It's going to look a lot cleaner, especially as we're sending these out to a, an actual customer. With the help of a GPS unit, some sensors, this car finds its own path. Right now, the folks at ASI say all these sensors, the robotics work great on a clear day, but the challenge in the future will be making sure it works in tough weather or when animals cross the road, all those unpredictable obstacles. So it's really the sensors are the 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 challenge right now the cost of them and the resolution of those sensors but as that comes uh, we're definitely going to see that reality several automated dump trucks are already being shipped out to a mining operation in south africa tory says it may not be too far off before consumers get a hold of the technology too when will we get to the point where you're not doing anything and you can text and read a book i think you're in the five to seven year range in cash county mike anderson ksl 5 news it makes me nervous. Right now, Tory says that automated cars would cost around $100,000. He believes that cost will drop significantly in the next few years. Steenie.